Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, we will have a quick introduction for Canon Scientific Calculator F715SG. So let's get started with this. To turn the calculator on, we just press this on and clear. So we will turn this on. To turn it off, this is the button. You press shift and turn off. Okay, so I've turned the calculator on. So the keys on this calculator have different labels. So all labels that is directly on the key will function. If I press 8, that will be 8. But if I press shift, it will be S sum. So this function will be triggered. So these yellow or um, golden color values will be accessed when you press shift. Let's say you want to do cube root of some number. So we press shift on this. So now it's cube root of, let's say, 27, and you get 3. But if you want to do without shift, it's just square root. So that will be the number. And then we have also a little, the same color as this key, like bluish color or gray, grayish blue. So these will be accessed when you press alpha. So alpha is the same color. So if any of those color uh, keys are needed, just press alpha. For normal calculation, it will just work. So press mode and then press 1, it goes to the normal. So you don't see here anything else except the type of the angle uh, unit, which is degree here at the moment. So let's do 3 plus 5. So that is as simple as that. The order of uh, operation is the same as how you do it in math. 8 times 4 plus 4 divided by 2. So you can enter it the same way uh, here, and the order operation is happen like this. This is multiplied, multiplied first, and then this is divided first, and then will be added. So you don't have to do it uh, with a bracket or anything. So 8 times 4 plus 4 divided by 2. So 8 times 4 is 32, plus 4 divided by 2 is 2, which is... 34. Let's say you want to do 5 squared. Simple, you press 5 and then squared. Plus, if you want to do 3 cubed, just press this button, it will be cubed. If you need to do negative for the negative, make sure that you put it in the parentheses. Because if you put this negative 2 squared, you see it gives you negative 4, which in reality. Uh, negative 2 times negative 2 is negative times negative is positive, 2 times 2 is 4, so the answer is 4. In order to get correct answer, negative 2 squared should be written with a parenthesis, so open negative 2 and then squared. This way you get the right answer. If you want to do, let's say, sine of uh, x, so you make sure your screen is set to the right format if you want to do for degree or grad or radian so how you change it press mode and then come to the right you will see degree radian grad let's say you want to go for radian plus 2 you will see r here so this r is referred to the radian sine of pi over 2 open parenthesis and this is the pi so pi button is accessed with shift so I'm pressing shift and pi, pi I can put over 2 or divided by 2, so you get 1, which is correct one. But if I don't, if I have it set in degree, you will get the incorrect answer sign. So let me change it to degree, go uh, degree plus 1, so that's sign of cosine of, of 45. This means to the power, this sign. If you want to do 5 to the power of 10, so you do that 5 to the power 10. Let's say you do 5 multiplied by 6 over 3. Uh, so how you do it, you have to do, because there is division involved, open a parenthesis, 6 times 5, and then divide it by 3. So you will and do it this way with a parenthesis to make sure that you get the right answer. If you want to, let's say, change your mind and you want to change only the 3 and the rest should be fine, just press the left arrow key and the cursor will appear and then press delete here. 
this will move the cursor one back and then you can put six or whatever other number that you want if you want to change let's say the division to addition so just go with this and then make it like that now you can just change it so that is how you can edit the value 1 over 53 so if you want to do 1 over 53 you don't have to do 1 divided by 53 you just do directly 53 and that's to the power minus 1 which is the same answer so you'll get it quickly so that is inverse of a value that's x to the power um, 3 let's say you want to find 25% of 820 so 820 times 25 and then put percent which is with a shift so that is 205 now let's say you have 3 over divided by 175, 3 divided by 175 and that is the answer and you want to use this one in your other calculation. So the best way would be to use all these memories so we have A, B, C, D and then we have X and Y. So these memories you can in, uh, set, set, uh, store this. Let's say store this in A. So just press for the store. This is a store which can be accessed by shift, shift store and after that you can press A, B, C, D, A. So it says answer to A. Clear. Now if I want to bring A back, just press recall RCL and A. Now this is a value, but if you want to add A to something, just press left arrow key, A plus 36. So this will be added to the value. The same way you can put value in B and C and then do very complex calculation. Let's say I do 85 and then uh, 85 shift store A and then 3 shift store B okay so now I want to do uh, A squared plus B divided by 5 so to do that I'm doing I'm doing recall A and then squared so you see it brings the answer but you can do it the other way as well recall A go back squared plus b divided by 5 uh, plus recall b divided by 5 so let's say you have something like this and you want to do a calculation uh, fourth root so for the fourth root we press 4 and then press this button 4 and then shift and this button you see fourth root and then this one because this is as multiple operation we have to uh, insert a parenthesis here so minus 2 squared again remember because minus 2 so you have to do minus 2 like that squared minus 2 squared now this parenthesis is still open plus 5 to the power 3 I'm just pressing this button and then close it now if I close it everything is done so now this is the answer sometimes to you need to get the absolute value of something let's say you have um, minus 35 and you want to get the absolute value which means remove the minus or if you have some other calculation so you can put using this ABS so if I put ABS minus 35 so it will return the absolute value which is 35 regardless of the sum. To do e to the power minus 3 plus 10 squared plus ln 5. So e is here, you can access it with alpha. So put alpha to the power minus 3. So I'm doing this one to the power. So if I put here minus 3, so that is for this one, plus 10 squared plus ln is here natural logarithm of 5 and then equal sign so this way you can do that let's say log of 45 press this log and then 45 so that is the logarithm this log is base 10 if you want to do uh, let's say log base 2 of 7 then you will press this alpha because, because this color is log A and B so press uh, all let me clear this alpha so now uh, w 
you will do it like this log 2 the first one is base and then 7 so we press 2 and then comma here and then 7 close it so this will give you log base 2 of 7 let's say you want to do 75 degrees to radian so the value that you want is in radian so I have to press mode go to the right and put 2 radian so this is the value I want now I want to enter 75 degrees so press 75 for the degree I'm pressing this button shift with this DRG degree radian uh, grad so press shift it says which one it is so my value is degree so press 1 now you see it's 25 degrees if I press equal sign it will give me a radian automatically that's the way to convert it the same way if you if you have 5.7 radian into degree so first set your calculator to degree mode and then go to the right press 1 that is degree I'm clearing it so now let's enter 5.7 here this 5.7 that I have on the screen as uh, 5.7 radian so press shift and then this answer button again and then 2 radian you see 7.5 R which is radian because this is degree if I press equal sign I get 326 so that is a degree value the same way you can convert it to the other values if you want to do let's say sign of 72 degrees so this is in degree that's fine so sine of 72 so you press sine and then 72 so if you have sine inverse of 0 0.95 and you want to get 72 degrees so you can enter 0 0.951 or you can use all of the answers so what you do is you enter with a shift that is sine inverse and then I can say answer sine inverse of that answer answer is 0 0.95 so it will give me 72 degrees so I just entered it so it gives 72 degrees the same way you can do for cosine and tangent or let's say you do uh, cos inverse of 0 0.65 and it gives you 49 degrees so this calculator can do so many other things and everything cannot be um, combined or included in one small introduction so I will have separate videos that cover a specific area of this calculator. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up and also please subscribe if you want to get updates of my upcoming videos.